hey guys welcome to comfy cozy up so it has been um a tough a tough week over a week now and um if you saw my message on the community board and also if you follow me on instagram then you know abby's no longer with us so um if you guys are new um abby is my dog who have been around for 17 years so I'm grateful for the amount of years I had with her um, however it it hurts it hurts a lot um and I am still struggling talking about it because every time I talk about it I get emotional and um but um she was sick last year I remember guys I was talking about it last year and she pulled through but there was a small mass that was still there and um it grew um, over the last couple of months and it became um, hard for her to eat or to drink so she she was suffering and that's the part that hurts the most because she lived so long and she suffered on her way out so I am not 100% back to normal but I'm learning not to cry every day and I'm learning to live without her and um and it's hard very hard okay all right so i'm not going to talk about it anymore because clearly i'm still struggling all right Whew. all right Whew. let's get back to bookish stuff so i um didn't read as much um initially um, because you know I'm either sleeping or crying <laughs> but I did um, read right before and the, the last couple of days I have gotten back into um, reading so in this video I want to talk about what I'm reading as well as some more pen collection um, I just want to get back to vlogging because I do have updates on the renovation which was on was on pause it was on pause for about uh, two weekends and um, but it's uh, it came a long way now um, uh, <laughs> interested enough we started the painting process and the people gave us the wrong painting and I'm looking at the wall like no nah, this is blue this, this ain't great this is blue and I'm not sure what happened with that so now we still have to go back and get the correct paint color um, because the person messed up uh, but other than that the kitchen is looking nice the backsplash is in and the floor is beautiful um my garden is gonna come back so i will start doing some gardening stuff um in the next vlog i am going to um close out this month where it's just not going to be in the vlog for this month but may i'll get back to the vlog where i show you the garden stuff that i'm going to start doing outside as the temperature starting to look good and start getting my backyard ready you know i love to do videos in the back and it, it, it's starting to look like spring like really starting to look like spring and um, so I'm excited for that so that's coming so book wise I did finish Plum Bun this is from Jesse Redmond Fawcett this is a Harlem Renaissance classic so you guys know I love Harlem Renaissance you know and she is the queen um, I know a lot of people think the other um, more popular authors and well, she is the queen because she is one of the um, pioneer for a lot of our favorites career and I talked about that in a previous video that she never got really a shine that and I think a lot of people need to understand this woman had a lot of influence in black authors of the Harlem Renaissance period and this is a passing story and um I believe this actually came out before passing um, so I was looking at the dates and it, it is a, a different take on passing that I think people who are not a big fan of open ending would love this because it gave you that morale because it does say um, a novel without a moral it, it, it has in a way where she was clever with it but I will talk more about this when I do my wrap up um, I also read this one because you guys know when I talked about it in my haul I just knew I wasn't gonna be able to resist and I actually just finished this like about a two days ago and this one is Medi Medine Trial 
Yeah, I know y'all gonna say me dying trial. No man, I, I'm a dying trial. <laughs> and this is a story of a, a, a mother who is in a, a marriage that's just um, very uh, unhealthy and she has multiple kids. And her discretion um, result into an, an outside child and you are in her storyline but also bits and pieces of that outside child and it's very um very caribbean very jamaican very much um stories of um our grandparents that you hear because this story took place mainly in the 70s and the 80s so it is has that it's historical content in in that time period it does have immigration in there but it, it also has so much flawed of a mother decision and but there's that still love that you understood you, you understood is there regardless of how many mistakes she's made and i enjoyed that so i would definitely i want to do a written review on this but y'all my mind my mind <laughs> my mind um my focus lately has not been the greatest thank god for journaling guys thank god for journaling <laughs> so yeah and then the other book that I am getting through is uh, David Copperfield. This is the one I'm body reading and I just really picked it up um, recently back. I definitely think I can finish this because I think I'm just going to focus this, on this for the rest of the month. And I will um, get through this book. Um, um, I'm enjoying it. I do like the, the main character. Um, and there's that turns and directions that um Charles Dickens took in this book that is just not typical that's not what you expect so it's hard to really predict or to think you know what's gonna happen because it's just not giving you that feel for it at all um but I am enjoying this so again talk more about this by the end of the month um but this is what I'm focusing on right now so all right now let me set up so we can go into some pen situation. Alright guys, so I am going to um, start with the pen that I have the most from, from this brand. So I'm going to put a brand like in a corner. And I have a lot of fountain pen. I rotate them. I have a lot of similar well exact but just the color of the pen is different and the size is different but it's like the same kind of um body because it's from the same company um my pens are more on the cheaper modest cheaper side i don't have a lot of expensive fountain pen i would love some in the future but right now because i just love playing with ink and different color that i i am i just want multiple different ones that i can have different colors in the um for the ink barrel but i'm gonna start with the first set that i bought ever of um my fountain pen actually no these were the second set um, but let me go with the first fountain pen I ever bought and this is the one that I bought now if you can oh sorry I didn't even I turn it on all right it's on now <laughs> all right so this is the pen that I started with and it is um a different kind it is very cheapy it's plastic um I cracked it but I actually love the tip on this. It is not, it doesn't have the ball round tip that you would get typically from the other fountain pen I will show you, which is the more popular one. This is more of a classic kind of fountain pen, but I really like how it writes. It's, let's see if I can find a blank page. Now the thing is I haven't used this in a while, so let's hope that the, um, we call it the inking that's in it because um, another thing that I'm very bad at, I'm going to just be honest with you guys, I do not clean my pen enough um, and I really should because th they will dry in your barrel and sometimes can cause issue. So let's see if, all right, not doing it. Let's try this again. All right. 
Alright, there we go. I don't know if you can see how it looks, but it just it just writes really nice. And I absolutely love this tip. What I will say, what happens when you buy a lot of cheapy, there's that plus and there's that minus. The plus is it writes really nice. The minus is it doesn't last long and this one I have in the past run into issues where it is leaking but it leaks inside it's not leaking outside um but it's annoying so this one does have um we call it a converter so i just you know put ink in as i need it but i absolutely love how it writes i just wish it wasn't as uh cheapy now this one i got at michael's guys i did buy this at michael's i will link all the ones that are um where I got them from. Most of them are from Amazon, but this one I did get at Michael's. But you can see it, it writes beautiful and I absolutely love it. The next one I want to go into now is my first set of the more heavy, bigger um, pens that I love. So these, I have the, I own so much of these kind, but these are medium nib and I think that was the only mistake I got with these where I didn't should I should have had like different nib size for these but I was like oh I just want a fountain pen these now I love because it comes with a converter and as well as a barrel so let me show you the difference like for instance this one I have I think a barrel in it yeah so it comes with this barrel and or if you don't and you want to put your own ink you can use the converter and the converter i think i have in this one and it has the converter which i put my own ink in it so um i love this because it comes in a set and also it comes with both option so I can use um, the barrel except for when I'm traveling I'll just put a barrel in there without if I don't want to travel with my ink so um, and so I love these but these are all fine print uh, let's see I think I used this yesterday oh, so it should work and as you can see the difference um, it's just writes really nice and I have never had an issue with these and I've had these now for about uh, probably about three years I've had these and I love it and the same family of them is these and these I think I got last year and these nibs are a little smaller and it is the same setup I think yeah same setup and it writes absolutely fabulous you can see the nib nib is gorgeous and these are the only difference is these are only converters so these did not come with a barrel but because they're the same size as the other one i can use the barrel that came with the other one with these and um it's just amazing um nothing i again these are inexpensive these are not expensive at all um, disregard this I gotta clean it because <laughs> this I think is a I forgot what color I have on this but it stains it so um, but don't do what I do guys clean your nips clean your nips <laughs> so every so often you just empty them out and you just clean them and they will last longer um, than if you just kind of like don't clean them at all uh, but I love it this one also has the converter and it's just pretty and it's and guys it, it's weighty it has weight on it it is weighty so um that's an, a plus it has you know here the design on them it's just a um, pretty fountain pen and um i just i love using them and they all have different colors and i have them in rotation i use them all the time then we're gonna get up to the other set oh sorry guys 
I forgot the other one. It's, this is a three set. This come in threes. I, the other one is downstairs in my bedroom. Um, but they have different design. I don't feel like going to get the other one. But just so you know, it's a three set one. And these are nibs are a little finer. And I did this on, I think on TikTok, I did um, when I bought them, I did a reveal. And I absolutely love this one as well. I love the design on them. And um, these are so pretty to look at. So, And also, it has a weight on them. So, you can't go wrong and it's inexpensive. Have you, yep. And again, it writes nice. So, you can see the dip on this is finer so this is finer than um the top ones um this love it love it love it and this is another one i highly recommend these um if you like those fun design and um look and i love that these one are silver because the other ones i have are all gold and this one has uh the silver theme so this one again you can't, you can't lose and the price <laughs> the price is amazing then i have the popular sporty one and this is what i use in my five-year journal so my five-year journal this is what I, I have in the little hook so hold on so in my five-year journal i have it literally because it's just like the perfect size and i have it uh in the little hook right here so i just put it in the hook and it stays there so i just took it off for the video um this one is very popular it's the sporty size everybody and i do mean everybody rave about this and i see why it is very tiny it is very tiny the the um you know the the nip um, I like using this in that because the grid is so small and if you ever use like, well, I can't show you on my five year journal cause I started it. But if you ever use the five year journal, you know, you only got a small amount of space for every year of that, for that date. And so you don't have a lot of room to write a lot. So I use this because I can literally like write smaller and neater. And, um, so this is like the perfect size. So this is why I use this in my five year journal. Um, I had to get used to the size because be honest with you, you can't use it without the top because it's just so, so tiny. I'm not, my hand is not that small. So I have to put the top so I can get more room to write and feel more comfortable. But, um, the nib is amazing. Um, and it writes really, really, really well. And I, I can't complain, can't complain, but this is, this stays in my five year journal there's a brand that i have never heard of this one um cosmo i think i can't i can't tell i think tweezy owned this brand too i can't i don't got my glasses on but i can't tell but i put the names like you know um this one is supposed to be similar to that brand as well but um it it uses the same barrel um, so it uses, you know, the same barrel as, as this one. Um, and uh, I got it cause it was green, but honestly, I think I've only used it one time. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it, I just don't reach for it. And I think it's the body. I'm not a, the, the body for some reason is not like attracted and I'm not attracted to it. All right. So this one's going to give me problem because I haven't used it in a while. So trick is you just dip the, the nib in a little bit of water because it's fully it's fully inked but if you haven't used in a while it will do that yeah. all right let me put i wouldn't recommend doing that i recommend cleaning your nib don't do what i do but <laughs> That's how I loosen it up if I have an issue and it always work. So as you can see, it writes nice. It is it is smooth. I don't have an issue with it. Um, I just don't reach for it for whatever reason. And yeah. Then we have the most popular pen that everybody raves about, but 
it's okay. I don't, I'm not die hard lamy girl. Um, it's just okay. And I don't reach for this. Um, ver when I just got it, I think I use it the most, but after a while, I, 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 I don't reach for it. I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, to the point right now, as you can see, it's not giving me any juice. There we go. And it writes nice. No complaint here. The, the ink that comes with it is super dark, um, which is always a plus. Um, so, sorry guys, my neighbor is doing work. Um, so, you might hear a little banging. So, it, it writes, you know, it writes nice. Um, I'm just not like in love with it. Um, I just use it once in a while. Um, then we have the pen that I think I love because of the fact it's, I love that you can see how much ink you have in it. Um, and this is another popular one, the Twisby. And you can't, you know, you just, it's, it's lovely. I'm not even going to complain. This is, this is lovely. Um, it's not as elegant as my other cheapy, but this costs more. This was, I think... I think this might be the most expensive one in the batch. I can't remember how much this was. Um, but I just love that you can see the ink. So I know when I, you know, how much ink I got left versus the other ones I have to open up or when I'm writing it falls, you know. And this one I use a lot. So I didn't have any issue with that. And yeah, so this one is a, um, a yes for me. So the rave and the talk about this pen they were right I am definitely uh, a fan love it I love that it comes with tools to clean I have not cleaned it but it comes in the, in the set where you can take it apart and clean it when you need to and again I would say it again if you're gonna own fountain pen please fountain pen clean them don't do what I do I am terrible at cleaning them um, but you should clean them Especially if you're not using them that often. Like the ones I'm not using that often, I'm probably going to just one day just sit down and actually clean them. Um, because you preserve them and they last longer if you take care of them. This is probably my favorite right now. Um, I've never heard of this brand. I can't really read it on here. But I, well, again, it should be popping up on the screen. Um... I absolutely love this pen. This pen is writes like butter. It is one of the smoothest nib I like. I literally love writing with this. And this one shouldn't have an issue because I just use it. Nope, maybe I'm running out. Of, let's see if I'm running out of ink. Because I know I just used this. Yeah, so this one... Yeah, if I could just see, if you, you own this, you know, it's smooth. This baby smooth. It writes smooth. And I absolutely love it. I have brown ink in there. This is why I don't use it as often as I, sh I want to because I put brown ink. But once this ink is cleared out, I'm going to put back black in there so I can use it more. I love this. This is the newest pen in my collection. And I absolutely love it. I'm going to get more. They have different designs. It's not all this color. Um have a little surprise coming up so this might be one of those that you might get because it's it's my favorite but I it's between this and this other one that I talked about but I love how this one writes this is just my my baby right now let's head down to Cheapyville the cheap cheap absolutely cheap but I got it for a reason so let's start off with these Japanese cheapy pens now I have them mixed up because for some, don't ask, but <laughs> the, the, the lids on these are, are mixed up. And what I like about these is it's the ink that comes with it can work on almost any notebook. So versus all the other pens that I have shown you, you have to have thick paper. Um, we're talking 100 GSM or more or the Hobonichi paper, which is the... Tommy River paper like this. It's a Tommy River paper because um, 
This one, for whatever reason, the ink that comes with it, it doesn't bleed. I am shocked that I can use this in my regular journal, which is my book journal, because this is just regular paper and it does not bleed. And I bought it for that reason. This is, no, it was $5.99. I don't know if they raised it up since I bought this. I bought this this year, this one, but these two I've had before. So I have in the blue and the black. I um, bought these and it was $6.99 guys. You can't beat it. So if you are a person that you have a thinner paper that you write with but you do want to use fountain pen, I suggest you get one of these. I don't have an issue with it. I can't tell you a major issue besides the fact it, it is plastic, the body is not strong. This is not something that you're going to hold on to. It's one of those where... Um, you can get more ink and fill it up and keep using it. But if you lose it, like for instance, I cracked the, the lid on one of these. This is why it's all switched. It's not a big deal because it didn't cost that much. But I don't have a problem with the nib writing with it. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I just, but I love that I have option of still using a fountain pen because I'm a fountain pen fanatic with thin paper, thin paper, paper that can't handle, um, a regular ink from a fountain pen. And... So I use this and, you know, and it, it just, it writes well. The thing is, the ink is lighter because it's not a heavy paint um, ink that they use in this. Um, so this is why I think it doesn't bleed when you use it on a regular paper. But you still get the feel of writing with a, a fountain pen with this. Um, so I recommend this if you are a person that have thin paper and you still want to try it a fountain pen just to um, See if you might like it if you want to get like the one, other ones that I showed you cheap cheap and It is from a Japanese brand and I don't know what ink if I knew what ink it was I would probably buy some so that I can have um, more option of using my other fountain pen in my um, my book journal um, I had bought this one. There's no ink in there because I don't have a converter and I don't know what size um, to put in. Um, I have to go on the website for this same brand and find out. But this one came with a pink and I don't know where the refill is. I have it somewhere. I don't know. But I did get this at Barnes & Noble years ago um, and it just, you know... Never really use it, but this is what the nib look like. It's very similar to the other cheapy one. Um, but again, I don't say never buy cheap fountain pen. Just know that when you buy cheap fountain pens, it's not going to last forever if you don't take care of it or if the body's plasticky. These are now what I call my cheapy, but guys, I use this in my planner. This is what's in here. So in here... I put it right in here and this is what I travel with so these are service purposes and it is a different kind of pen it's the one that has that weird nib I don't know why I like using this even though I wouldn't say this is the best quality in terms of um, writing a lot with it I just like using this in my planner and I don't have an issue with it, but you know, it's 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 not as uh smooth as the other ones I show you. All right, guys. So video had cut off. So anyway, I um I enjoy these. I literally don't have a big qualms with these. Um, these are not ones I would say we're not gonna buy. These are like cheapy, put into your bag. Um, the thing is, you can't write, the ink on this is strong, so this, this is not a good one to use in, for thin papers. The, um, so, but, again, it's cheap, it's affordable, and it's fun. I really buy it because of the colors. I'm not even going <laughs> to you. It's the colors for me. It was the colors that got me trapped, and because these are not, like, nothing to, you know, celebrate, but... <coughs> excuse me but um yeah <laughs> so yeah guys I am stopping the video here but yeah guys that is 
where I'm gonna end this video. Um, so this is the pen series. I am I still have notebooks that I want to go over. I have ink. So this is probably gonna continue into May. Um, and also talk about like my fun gadgets and all this other stuff. So it's gonna continue. So I will share more because I do get a lot of questions about my supplies, where I get them. And um, so I will continue the series for you guys who are interested. Hope you enjoy this. It was fun. Um, and again, I am a fanatic when it comes to fountain pens, but I'm also a realistic person that I will not tell you to go buy some expensive fountain pen if you want to be a collector. If you want to just have one fountain pen, maybe two, go for it. Go and get that expensive one that you really want to get and because you're going to you're going to use it. You're going to use it. But if you like me who have this I have a aesthetic issue. I like colors. I like different things. I don't like using the same thing over and over. Then you kind of look for the cheaper brands that are still good quality. They're not horrible. And I've had some of these I get over three years, some of them. And I have no major issue. Um, but the ones I do tell you, which are the bodies are very cheap and plasticky. Just keep in mind that um, it may not last you long, but... If you take care of it, you can have some time with it. So, yeah, I am going to end this here. Let me know what else you want me to talk about as far as journaling. Um, if you are seeing this video today on Saturday, um, I'm recording this video two days in advance because I got to, you know, edit it and all that. Um, I have two Zoom situations happening. One is for a festival that I, um, the ticket's already gone, so if you didn't get a ticket that... Um, it's gone, but I have one that I personally do for my spring adrenal mood challenge Which is going to be on Sunday and it is on zoom at 3 p.m If you are interested and you follow me on social media if you follow me on Instagram jump on my DM Let me know you're interested and I can send you an invite if you do not have Instagram But you still want to perhaps hit me up on Twitter um or you can send me like an email. I in my description I have all the my contact and you can hit me up there and I will send you an invite. And you just come with your question. We really talk. It is a very safe environment. Um, um, the group of women that I have had for you for a while that do have guys that come in every so often, not a lot, but mostly women. Um I think only one year we had a guys, but you know, I'm welcome for men who journal to come through and we can chit chat and talk about um, these um, word prompts and different style of journaling, what works for you, what don't, um, what your issues is if you are struggling to maintain a daily journaling and all that stuff. We just have a very healthy and uh, fun discussion. So I will see you in the next video. And for those of you who have reached out to me about my beloved Abby. Um, I really appreciate it. I will respond back eventually, um, but it's, it's still kind of hard, especially the video that I did on Instagram. I cannot watch this video without crying, so I just haven't opened up those messages to comment or to respond um, because I am still a soppy person when it comes to the matter. It's probably going to take me a while to feel normal again, but I do not feel normal right now. I feel like something is missing and it's part of the grieving process and I know a lot of you guys have experienced grief and um but pet it just it comes at you differently because you don't expect to have this kind of response because you know people say it's just a pet but it's family that pet feels and is family and you just feel like you just lost a family member and you have to learn to deal but journal is my baby right now and I do write and I do express myself and say things that um, a lot of people who are not pet owners may not understand but um, but it's part of life and that comes at you sometimes in <sighs> weird ways and and uh, there are some positive things to think of and good things to hold on to and that's what I'm learning to do in this whole grieving process right now so Thanks guys, and I will be okay. I'll be okay. I'm still learning how to smile through this and um, hold on to happy thoughts. So, see you in the next one guys, and thanks for watching. Thanks for your support.
and it will be uh, another video for the month and then I will try to get back into the fun spring gardening stuff. I'm excited for that as well as the renovation hopefully should be done uh, soon and yeah. Alright guys, bye.